When my boys were little, they were enamored with knights in shining armor. Every stick became a sword, and every time they held a stick, there was a battle. And as I watched this, I thought to myself, you know what? This is actually a teachable moment. The boys were so into swords, why not pick up some material and teach them how to use the jigsaw and the router and the drill, and we'll work together in the garage and we'll make some swords for each of them. And so they saved up their money and we went to the, to the store, to Windsor Plywood, and we bought some nice solid oak. And we cut out some fancy hand guards and we screwed them in for hand protection. And then the boys put on their bike helmets and their safety glasses and their work gloves. Remember, safety first. And with a few simple ground rules, we let the games begin. Now, I actually have the remnants of one of those swords with me today. You can see, this is a pretty sturdy piece of oak, and you can see the edges are really beat up and the hand guard is broken off. You can see where we took the router and made it nice. You could actually two-hand this, this weapon. And so you can imagine that it didn't take long <laughs> and the boy sustained a few flesh wounds, we'll call it. And so we went back into the garage and we built the next piece of, of machinery, I guess, equipment that was necessary for this whole endeavor. And that was a shield. We made wooden shields for each of the boys that had a rope that went through them at the hand and at the elbow. And so you could put it on the forearm with a little padding. Now, this shield was tremendously helpful. They, they use these shields to stop multiple blows from the enemy, quote unquote. And also, they also provided protection from the onslaught of flying crab apples hurled from the miniature catapult that we also had fun building together. Psalm 18 verse 30 says, This God, His way is perfect. The word of the Lord proves true. He is a shield for all those who take refuge in Him. Throughout this devotional series, we've been looking at the character traits of God. In our passage today, we've read that God is our shield. The first line of defense in battle isn't typically armor or even a good sword parry, but instead, it's a good shield. The shield protected from arrows and spears and sling stones and, and other swords, along with a wide variety of, of weaponry fashioned to kill and destroy. As I think about God's protection as a shield, I'm reminded of the account from 2 Kings 6 that I read in my devotionals, my own personal walk with God, not that long ago. The story where Elisha awakes to find himself surrounded by the king of, the army rather, of the king of Aram. And Aram was angry. The king of Aram was angry. Elisha was always telling the king of Israel where Aram would be next. And so he wanted to get rid of Elisha. Elisha's servant was, was terrified. But after Elisha prays, we read in 2 Kings 6, 17, the Lord opened the servant's eyes and he looked around and saw the hills full of chariots, horses rather than chariots of fire all around Elisha. Even though it was unseen, God was protecting them. He was shielding them. He had a magnificent heavenly army capable of repelling even the worst of enemies. Perhaps you're feeling surrounded today, maybe by difficulties and challenges. I, I don't know what those would be. You obviously are more familiar with them, but perhaps they seem insurmountable. Or maybe you're, you're just sensing the onslaught of the enemy at this time, hammering away at your faith. I want to encourage us today and remind us that if you're a child of God, God is our shield. He's our shield. And it's not just what he does, it's who he is. It's a part of his character. He protects us because of who he is. And as God, he has placed a shield of protection around you, around us as his children. And even though we can't see it, as a servant couldn't see, even though we can't see it, God is there and he is doing that work, protecting and shielding us from the onslaught of the enemy. Let's pray today. Father, I want to thank you for the fact that you love us so much and that you can't act outside of your character. And I thank you that, that 
you are our shield. It's who you are. It's what you do. You protect and you provide within that shield for those who love you. And so today, regardless of where, we at, where we're at, I want to pray for those who are, who are perhaps struggling. And I pray that by the Spirit of God, you might show them, given that sense that you're, you're there and that you're protecting. Help us to be reminded today that you are our shield, regardless of what we're facing. Thank you, Lord, for this truth today. Thank you, Lord, that it's who you are. We ask this now in your name. Amen. Thanks for joining us today. God bless as you carry on uh, with the activities of your day.